get to know Aaron Legend. He's a celebrity fitness trainer, Canadian gold medalist, and an entrepreneur. And Aaron Legend, welcome to the Show Trigger Show. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing good, love. Thank you for having me. It's Monday, it's the new year. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. New year, you're pumped. Um, I'm pretty sure you have a whole uh, inventory of brand new clients who are ready to kick the year off right, right? <laughs> Yeah, best believe it's been kind of crazy and chaotic right now. I'm a little overwhelmed, but you know what? It's like, this is a good problem to have. So I'm just grateful for it and I'm rolling with the punches. I know you are. Well, let's talk about you. So as a Canadian gold medalist, shout out to you, celebrity trainer, world champion, guest speaker, and an entrepreneur. You wear, you wear your hats and you wear them well. Um, what inspires <laughs> your affinity for helping people become the best versions of themselves? Yeah, that's a great question. And, you know, for me, it's just, I've always felt that where there's a will, there's a way, you know, I've always felt that anything is, is possible. Anything can be achieved, you know, and I'm always usually inspired by seeing people who come from kind of like difficult circumstances and they've been able to have these success stories. So for myself, I always felt like there was no limitations to my capabilities. And I always try to be an optimist and see like the positive way of achieving anything so you know having that type of notion in mind has been something that has allowed me to kind of motivate educate empower and inspire other people that i'm working with simply because you know i i see i see it like i'm a solution oriented individual too what do you love most about fitness because i feel like we're talking about that that fit mindset that positive mindset so i mean obviously you merge those two worlds together the mindset the physical what do you love most about fitness I just love, you know, challenging myself and challenging other people and kind of like reaching like a pinnacle of progress that was once perceived as impossible. So whenever, for example, a new client will come along and they're very goal oriented or they have this like idea of like one day I'd love to do 10 push ups, you know, to, to me, to them, it might seem like it's impossible and it's like something that they'll never be able to achieve, you know, but to me, like like I mentioned before, I see the path of how we can do it and how it can be done. So I love kind of bridging that gap for my clients and, and just seeing them kind of break through and have these breakthroughs rather uh, of like what they had perceived as something that was impossible before. So I love to be that person to kind of mediate things and just step in and say, okay, this is the goal. All right, let's reverse engineer things. Let's work backwards. Here's how we're going to do it. And then when we get it done, you know, it's like it's a huge celeb celebratory kind of moment that we get to share together. I love that you start with the goal, you know, and go because goal setting is very important to me, too. So I love that you're you're motivating them. And then one day they'll be able to set those goals and achieve them on their own as well. So I love Amen. that you're, you're igniting that in them. <laughs> now, as a fitness expert, you've trained a number of industry actors, including Ricky Widow from the Stars TV show American Gods. Yeah. Um, in what ways do you help your clients? I know you just said you help them set goals. I mean, you're talking about 10 push-ups, but let's dive into how you help your clients in a, in a myriad of ways. Yeah, so for Ricky and for Pablo, for example, when I was working with them on American Gods, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of nerve wracking because it's like that that project specifically, like my my job essentially was to make them look like gods. You know what I'm saying? So like, like in their physique? I, yeah, their physique. Okay. Like they, okay. they were playing gods in their TV show. Okay. So for those guys specifically, when working with actors and whatnot, you know, um, one of the objectives is to just ensure that we're on the same page in regards to uh, achieving a certain look. Ricky specifically had a look in mind of what he wanted to achieve for certain shirtless or sex scenes and stuff like that. So, you know, it was easier to kind of be like, okay, this is how you have to eat. This is how you have to train. And he was one of the most dedicated and committed people that I've ever worked with in, in my entire life. So for people like him, it's easier to motivate them because he already has the idea of what he wants to look like. But, you know, for everyday clientele and stuff like that, sometimes, you know, it's it's difficult to try and psychologically find what is the motivating factor for them. You know, it might be, I want to look good for like my wedding or I want to look good for this trip to everyone's in Tulum right now. <laughs> they they, they want to look good for Tulum or, you know, they just want to do 10 push-ups as I mentioned, right? So once you find in like, 
psychologically uh, what it is that motivates that individual, then it's something that you kind of use as that carrot stick in front of them, you know, to like keep them motivated. It's like you remind them, like, do you remember like why you're here? And uh, and then usually like that's something that just kind of keeps them consistent. So what do you help? I mean, let's talk about uh, you're working on sets, you're working on movie sets and TV sets, and then you're also you also have clients. Who are, so what are you helping them do? Obviously, build muscle, lose weight, meal plan, prepare for roles. Like how extravagant is your service list? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, like. <laughs> If this means anything to anybody watching, like I'm a Virgo, right? So for me, it's like, I have this hyperactive mind. I just like to, to, to be occupied. I like to be productive and stuff like that. So like, you know, in the training side of thing, there's a lot of different um, services that I can offer to my clients. Some of my clients, they do bodybuilding competitions, which is like the most extreme form. Some of the actors, you know, they have a specific look. They want to look like God. So I get to push them to the limit. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, other people have different types of goals about specific fitness related goals some people might be looks some people might be eating habits some people mm -hmm. it might be uh you know better digestive health some people it might be improving their mental health and it's just cathartic for them to not think about like it's like being in a, a hair salon or a barber shop you know it's just kind of like social moment where they don't think about their problems and they're just kind of in the moment like focusing on on training but you know for me i can i could do like a myriad of things as mentioned it could be nutrition solely it could be online coaching some clients you know they're global and international so i might sit here much like how we're doing with this zoom meeting here and i might just talk to them about you know like like take them through a training program while we're here on zoom you know so it's like whatever the client needs i just make sure as a leader that i step up and i provide that because at the end of the day it's not about me it's bigger than me you know what i mean so i'm just that bridge for, for them and whatever they need, like, you know, I, I'll either do it or if I don't know how to do it, then I'll try and educate myself on how to do it so that I can just be of better use to these people here that need me. Well, it sounds like you're educating them and you're making them happier and, you know, to live healthier and happier lives. So kudos to you for that. <laughs> um, now you're the founder of Legend Nation, which is a platform um, to create more opportunities for Canadian athletes and social media influencers. Tell me about your inspiration for creating this platform and what solutions it provides. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know. It's just like how, how I kind of mentioned this. I've always seen that there's a way to do things, right? And coming from like, um, you know, from like a less fortunate family, it's like, you know, I never use that as like a crutch to be like, oh, I can't do it because we don't have money or we don't live in the right city or like, where do you even begin? Who do I connect with to get my dreams out, right? So for me, as I started to work through the industry and I became a world champion and professional athlete, you know, I said to myself yet again, I said, this is bigger than me, you know what I mean? And I want to just kind of like, again, be that bridge <laughs> to give people these opportunities. I've been featured in like hundreds of magazines. I've done like thousands of photo shoots. And then now with like Legend Apparel and stuff like that, I've been able to give my friends opportunities to be like models and stuff like that as well. So like whether it's through the apparel or it's through like the coaching side of things with Legend Nation or the Legend Apparel, it's like I just want to give people their moment. I don't personally care about being you know, on TV and stuff like that. I don't care about being on the cover of magazines anymore. Like I've done it enough times that for me, I'm like, you know what? This was like uh, essentially a springboard to understand how to do it so that I can give other people that opportunity and give them their moment too. So that's like, that's my intrinsic, like motivating factor is really to just give other people this opportunity to do something that they might not know where to begin. And it's like, I feel like I got the cheat codes. You know? I love how humble you are. Like, that's admirable. Um, well, out of all of the things that you've accomplished in life, what achievements are you most proud of? Yeah, I'd have to say, um, for sure, it's the apparel for the same reason as what I mentioned, you know, just being able to give people that opportunity and seeing the smile on their face and seeing how it empowers them is like, it's like a gift that keeps giving, you know? It, it, there's no money even behind it. Like, I'll hit up some of my friends and I'll say like, yo, come over and like, throw some legend apparel on, like shoot, you're gonna be a model today, you know? And seeing the smile that they have on their face and seeing like the photos, cause I'm a photographer too. <laughs> seeing the photos, <laughs> I, I, just, I just have fun with it, right? right? But seeing the smile on their face after is like, 
it's like that's priceless to me you know what i mean so like whenever i have an opportunity to do that that's like that's the thing that i'm the most proud of is that people uh entrust in me and they feel like you know what aaron aaron has given me this opportunity but i could speak on maybe two other things is a lot of people in toronto have been able to kind of cultivate these friendships and this community through some of the things that i do with with the multiple businesses that i'm involved in and i love seeing that so and so is dating so and so and they met at a party that i hosted you know what i'm saying or this person got hired by this person and i know that i was the one that put that event together so it's like i love seeing people coming together good people coming together positive people coming together having this moment together where they share some type of substance and value with one another and then they carry on you know that's about leaving a legacy and to me that's the most important thing that's my purpose in life is is to empower people and to leave this legacy that you know continues to resonate with other people long after after I'm gone that's a beautiful spirit that you have i i heard you say earlier that you you know you came from humble beginnings um who or what do you attribute to your success for sure my parents you know um like my dad's turkish my mom's haitian dominican and you know we weren't like definitely we weren't poor but we weren't like even middle class to be honest and you know you'd see a lot of other kids at school for example with such lavish lifestyles already and you start to compare yourself to them because it's like you know not that it's happiness or anything like that but you just see that they have the newest clothes or the parents are picking them up in Audis and stuff like that. Meanwhile, you got to take like three buses to get home and a train. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, seeing things like that, um, you know, or, or rather coming from that type of uh upbringing, you know, for the longest time, I wouldn't say that I resented my parents, but I was always kind of comparing myself to other people. And now looking back, I realized that coming up through the struggle and having some type of adversity that you've overcome is truly what builds character. So being in a position where, you know, you had to kind of just figure it out for yourself and uh, you know, just make something out of nothing is essentially what gives you these tools and these skills here that that allows you to conquer the world and feel like anything is possible. Awesome. I love the way you think. You know, I love how you've taken your your what your upbringing, your family values and you've turned it into a business for yourself and a brand and also a way to, you know, affect the world at large. You're encouraging people even on this video. <laughs> um and you're also encouraging your clients um and everybody that you meet and come in contact with and I think that's absolutely awesome. I love the mindset that you've adopted to continue to win. Um you know, on your down days, how do you motivate yourself to win? Yeah, that's actually a great question cuz uh <laughs> I I mean, I get inspiration from a lot of different people, you know, and because I wear so many hats in my life, I try and just as I mentioned, I try and see people that aren't as fortunate as I am that are doing more than what I'm doing. Because essentially when I see that, I snap out of it. I'm like, you ain't got no excuse. You know, like so and so comes from nothing and they were able to create this this and that. And I don't see no excuses. They could be like somebody who's missing a limb. It could be somebody who, you know, they've never had like the support of their parents or whatever it is. I see these people who are less fortunate than I am, and I watch what they've created and I watch how they're still humble. I watch how they're still smiling. I watch how even when they didn't have stuff, they were still giving, you know what I mean? So I look at these things and whenever I see that, it gets me out of those unmotivated states where I'm like, "Hey, and you know what, man? Like you got to step it up. Life is one you're not getting younger and there are people that believe in me too so sometimes you know that's one of the biggest catalysts for motivation and inspiration that i use and outside of that i'd have to say like my fans and stuff like that they'll send me messages every single day and kind of remind me of who i am when i when i lose track of it it's like they know you know it's like they have telepathy and they can just feel that i need uh i need like a little bit of a boost but sometimes they'll just hit me up and they'll they'll remind me of what it is about me that inspires them and then that just reminds myself and then and I get right back to work. I think it's kind of poetic because you spend so much time pouring into other into others. So I like that you are replenished, you know. So I think that's that's what kind of makes the world go round when you pour into others and then somebody comes back and pours into you. So yeah, it fulfills me too, you know. So <laughs>
Thank you for the inspiration. I, I'm, it's been a pleasure talking to you today. I thank you for being my special guest. If anyone watching is interested in your services, booking you as a speaker or following your journey online, what's the best way to connect? Easily the best way is to find me on Instagram, Aaron Legend IFBB Pro. And Aaron is E-R-E-N. I gotta make that clear because everyone's like A-A-R-O-N. I'm like, nope. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is, but if you just find me on Instagram, Aaron Legend IFBB Pro, that's the best way to hit me up. Don't hesitate. Don't feel shy. You got a question. You just want to say hi. Whatever it is, I got nothing but love to give. Awesome. Thank you so much, Aaron. You take care, and I wish you a very, very happy new year. <laughs> yeah, thank you for having me on. Yeah, and, uh, and happy new year to you too, Chandra. Thank you.